It is Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. It's Maya just Simone. And to the right of me, I have Miss Honey Baby. She is looking beautiful. She's chill. Yeah. She's in the building. And I love her energy. How are you doing, ma'am? Thank you. I'm doing good. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Yeah. So you've been traveling. You're on tour right now, right? Mm -hmm. How's that going so far? It's going good. It's definitely going good. Um, tomorrow is my last stop in Nashville. Uh, today is Atlanta. Oh, yay. I-05. So, yeah, it's been a time. It's been a time. I, I like being on stage. Now, at one point, I thought you actually lived in Atlanta. But <laughs> you're still living in Jersey, right? Yeah. Will you ever, you know, make that decision? Because, you know, Atlanta is just a place. Everybody comes here. You've been here a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I could live in Atlanta. Mm -mm. Why not? What? I don't think... <laughs> Wait, where do we? First of all, I'm a native, so tread lightly. No, I'm just playing. No, tell the truth. Tell the so, truth. No, anybody so be that's honest. from Atlanta, they'd be like, why you don't want to live in Atlanta? What's wrong with Atlanta? And be I'm honest. Just like, it's just not my vibe. Like, to live permanently, I don't mm -hmm. think I could do it. Like, I feel like everything's so far apart from each other. Yeah. Like, everything's so far apart from each other. You really got to travel and drive. Like, I think if I were to move anywhere other than, like, stay in Jersey, mm -hmm. I would probably go to L.A. And I would only go to L.A. because it's pretty as hell. Yeah, I could see L.A. I could see L.A. for yeah. you, for sure. Like, you know, it's super pretty. Yeah, because like, Atlanta culture is just different, though. Yeah. I mean, I think you would fit in, but you would stand out because you are different. Yeah, you know, so. like, but I do like the vibe out here. I <laughs> definitely mm -hmm. like the vibe, but to live... <laughs> mm -mm. Uh uh. Like, if I'm gonna leave Jersey, I need some palm trees or something. Or something. You need some sunshine and some beaches yeah, or something. Some on Miami, even. Like, yeah. I get that. Mm -hmm. I get that. Now, of course, I do want to get into the music. Um, we're gonna get into that later on because you are doing some amazing things. And, you know, it is Women's Appreciation Month, so I have to give you your flowers here on camera because you have literally just taking this industry by storm. You came in, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You've been consistent, you're looking good while doing it. Thank and so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get you. into your music a little later later on. But I do wanna talk about um, you starting off as a cosmetologist at one point. Were you in school or doing something with that? I was in cosmet I was a cosmetology school dropout. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, so, so what is that? Um, so I dropped out of cosmetology school. Oh, wait. Oh, you said you were a cosmetology school dropout. dropout okay, I thought yeah, you said yeah. you were in it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you were at, so. so what, like, why didn't you complete it? I mean, obviously for music, but like, you know, if you weren't doing music, what would you have been doing and why didn't you finish it? So I didn't finish cosmetology school because I originally went to do nails. I wanted oh, to do okay, nails. Okay, okay. And then when I went there, they bamboozled me and were like, <laughs> Oh, well, you should just do the whole cosmetology course. And that involved hair, nails. Makeup, yeah, all that everything. stuff. But it was focusing on hair. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then what they're really prepping you for in cosmetology school, for the school I went to, Robert Fiance, they're really just pe prepping you for the test, the state board test. Okay, okay. Um, you don't really learn nothing in mm -hmm. cosmetology. I didn't learn nothing in cosmetology school. So it, everything that you were doing was kind of self-taught? Yeah. But they don't even give you, like, the techniques to brush up on it, or They is it do, like a... but it's, like, nothing that I mm -hmm. learned in there helped me. Yeah. Like, things I know about hair. Like, I wear um I wear my natural hair. Okay. If not a wig. They don't, they're not teaching me how to maintain take, my take care natural of it. hair. Okay, okay. And then wigs. They don't teach you about, like, wigs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But they, you, they do give you a lot of time to work on other things that's beauty. So you could go into cosmetology school in the morning looking crazy, and you're walking out looking like a baddie because somebody <laughs> did your hair or you did your they, hair. Y'all have to practice on each other. Yeah. 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 Yeah, hell yeah. But um, once I got to, like, the senior level, I just was focused on other things. Like, I was big on YouTube at the time. Okay. And, um, I was doing music. I just started doing music um, when I got to co cosmetology school. And then um, I was just missing a lot of days. I was like, there was no point in me still doing this because why do I want to do this? So mm -hmm. um, I dropped out. And last time I went was to attend my friend's graduation. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And I hated it. And I was in there like, ah. <laughs> right, and, right. It, you, didn't feel, you didn't feel saucy. You were just like, you know, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. I don't care how advanced I was in the program. I just stopped going. Okay. And then you transitioned into music. Well, you were already doing music. I think mm -hmm. your father introduced you to it at one yeah, point? Yeah. Okay. My dad introduced me to music um, when I was really young. But when I was in cosmetology school, I had dropped my first single. Oh, that wow. was like 2019. So. Okay. Um, when I was in cosmetology school, I was like editing YouTube videos at the desk while yeah. they were doing lessons, and I'm sitting there trying to hide my headphones in because I'm listening to beats and I'm trying right. to write. Like I was doing everything but focused on cosmetology school. I was like, I don't want to do this shit no more. I mean, mm -hmm. but everything has a reason and a season, and mm -hmm. if it wasn't for you, it just wasn't for you. So, mm -hmm. how has fame been treating you? Because I know that a lot of people they get this overnight success, and it's never really truly overnight. You have to put in some work, but you know, how have you been? 
able to handle it, manage the scheduling, um, the fans? Like, what is it like being famous? Um, I, I wouldn't even consider myself famous right now. Well, like, you are popping. I'm like, like, a little late. <laughs> like, a little late. But, like, I wouldn't consider, like... Myself, like, famous, mm -hmm. um, but the way that I just maintain everything that's going on, especially, like, this drastic change, um, I just kind of go with the flow. Like, yeah. I've been, like, prepping myself for this for a long time, so, um, and then the way it's happening is it's going gradually. Like, it's moving a little quick, but it's going at a really good pace to where I can catch on to what's happening, so it's very easy for me to adapt and adjust to what's going on around me, and my schedule changing and me working a lot more and traveling a lot more mm -hmm. is just like I definitely do be having times where I be complaining like I don't want to go here. I don't wanna do it. I just wanna stay You're home. human at the I'm end tired. of the day. Yes. Yeah. But then it's just like you signed up for it, so girl, either shut up, like get up or shut up. Now, one of the things I really, really love about your career so far, like a highlight, you performed at the Soul Train Awards. Yes. That was a big thing. Yes. Like to be. A, a new, you know, artist coming in and some people who have been making music for years would die to be in that position. Talk about that experience. Um, that was definitely a crazy experience for me. That whole month was <laughs> insane because I was on tour with Sexy Red. I'm going from show to show to show, driving, driving, driving. And then it was like after one of my Florida shows, I want to mm -hmm. say Orlando, um, they were like, yeah, guess what? You're doing Soul Train Awards. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, when? Uh, next week. And I'm like, what? Well, <laughs> I, I, like I literally had um, one, maybe two rehearsals to prepare for. Soul and you Train. slayed, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. Like um, I was going like from state to state, so the weather was changing each day. My allergies were messing with me. I was really nervous because I'm like, yo, I don't sound the way I normally sound. Like I'm OD raspy. I can't breathe out my nose. Aww. And then um, it was outside. So it was really cold. I had that little dress on, and I'm like, oh, my God. And you still had to push those notes out and, yeah. and make it happen. It was crazy, but yeah. it definitely was a surreal experience. Like, I don't think it really hit me until I see myself on TV, on tour. I was on tour doing my makeup. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, my God, I hear my name on TV. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I, I think that's a, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I think that's the perfect TV debut. Literally. Like. <laughs> I wouldn't have changed it for the world, the way everything mm -hmm. happened. And then it mm -hmm. just, like, to me, it was kind of like, look at everything you're doing. Like, you're not at home sitting watching yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you're still doing things while you're watching. Like, you're doing a lot of things. And you're watching yourself on TV. It's like that. At the same was, time. And it probably still time. hasn't really hit you yet. But, I mean, that's how it is when, you know, you're living in the moment. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. just like, all right, I did that. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of me and my team and everybody. And it's like, all right, what's next? Yeah. Like, what are we going to do next? Like, yeah. Because once one thing happens, you're ready to go to the next thing, the next big thing. It's like things don't kind of hit you when you're moving so much. It exactly. might hit you a month later. Exactly. Like, like oh, wow, I, I really did that. That's crazy. And But yeah. now you're doing something completely different. It's like, oh, wow, but now I'm doing this. Like, that's insane. Like, yeah. Now, I want to talk touching because it's a big record. It's actually one of my favorite records. And it puts mm -hmm. me in it. And I hate to say this because it sounds like it's going to, it sounds more spiritual. But it puts me in a trance. Like, it touches my soul. And the reason why I say that is because it's so melodic. Your voice just, the way you ride the beat and just the cadence of the yeah. song. And I just I just love it. You know, so congratulations, first of all, because Thank that's you. a big one. Now, you did have Callie on one of the remixes, and you have Busta Rhyme on another, Busta Rhymes on another remix. Yeah. So why did you choose to do two remixes? Um... I actually didn't choose to do two remixes. Oh, okay. It kind of like came okay. to me. You know, like, um, I was waiting for my co-sign for Busta, and I was just like, you know what? It's going to happen organically. I didn't know if he was just if he was going to hop on it or if he was just going to co-sign it, but I knew I was going to get my co-sign. But it just happened so that he loved the song, and he, mm -hmm. he hopped on it, and that's kind of just how that worked out. And that, that was so dope for me. And then Callie, she was the original remix, so we were really only mm -hmm. going to do... One remix. One remix. So mm -hmm. um, when the legend hopped on, it was just <laughs> because like, that was the perfect sample. First of all, it was it was a sample he used. Yeah, it was it was his sample that yeah. he used. Oh, so it's not yeah. So he wasn't the original. So the original was Seals and Cross. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. And then he okay. did a, re a rendition of it. And then here you come. Yeah. So the rendition <laughs> that everybody uses is his, his rendition, rendition of a rendition. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. So a like, lot of people may not know it's that. It's his sample of a <laughs> sample, but it's his sample being used. So it's kind of like if I were to like um. If I were to kind of like sample a song and change mm -hmm, it up, mm -hmm. and then everybody takes the way I did it and did it, like you're using like my sample. Okay, that makes so sense. So it's mm -hmm. uh, the put your hands where your eyes can so see him sample, mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. like one of his most <laughs> iconic songs. It is. And it was something that everybody ended up using by the time mm -hmm. I, I put it out because mm -hmm. I um, 
I recorded it in like last year, January, and then okay. I dropped it April of last year. Yeah. So by the time I dropped it, it we already did it. Everybody's Everybody like, already did but it. But yours stands out. Yours really stands out. Like, that's why I was yeah. so excited to do it. I'm like, you know what? At this point, everybody's rapping on it. I'm mm -hmm. the only one that's singing, singing on it. Singing on it. And that's what makes it so singing on it. Yes. And that's what makes it so different for you to even have that ear. And that just, that drive and that energy to just know, just have that niche and know like, okay, maybe I should put my voice on this. Yeah. I think you did it perfectly. It it's perfect. It was so dope. Everything happened so organically too. I think that's my, my favorite part of everything. Like it wasn't forced. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it wasn't like a, um, like, oh, let's do this, let's do that. It just kind of, everything kind of happened mm -hmm. organically. It was like everything was meant to happen at the time it was because a lot of people sent him the song and a lot of people wanted him, wanted him to hop but on But he didn't it. clear it. But he cleared oh, it. Oh, he did clear but it. But he didn't co-sign it yet. Oh, okay. You know and he co-signed yours. But he co-signed mine. So, um... He calls you. And then he says, pull up to the studio. Yeah, he so, called my team. And, he, and um, I was actually at Legos. I'll never forget it. I was at Legos. I just left a New York <laughs> Fashion Week event. Mm -hmm. I'm with my stylist and my management. Mm -hmm. And um, Miller was with me. And mm -hmm. I was waiting for my wings. And Mac was up to me. He's like, um... You gotta get your stuff because we gotta go see Buster. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Whoa, wait a minute. What are we talking about? Right now? He's like, let's go. Like, get your stuff. We gotta go. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, we gotta go. Where's my wings? Like, mm -hmm. I need my wings. I need my food. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. And then we went downstairs and we went next door. And I was like, what the fuck? And then we walked upstairs and he was there, arms open, like, like, hey. I saw the like, picture in that hug. You can tell it was a genuine, like, I'm glad you're here hug. Yes. And then you felt welcome. Like, it was the hug. The You know, pictures say a thousand words. But you can tell in that in that picture that the vibe was genuine. And that he genuinely wanted that moment. That's literally when we walked through the door. So oh. that, like, the picture on the cover uh -huh. is our, like, my first time walking uh -huh. up to him, hugging him, and meeting him, and talking. Like, that was, that was that moment. That's amazing. So it was so dope. I loved it. He's, like, he's the best. He's, like, a big brother. Yeah, he's so dope. So F and them too. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna get into this one. I have to get into this one because first of all, let me commend you on your music being uh, having substance to it. You're telling you're telling a story. You're not just you know, and this is no knock to all the other ladies out there, but you talk about more than just your cat. You know, you're yeah. actually you know having real conversations and painting a picture to us. Is this something that you went through in real life? Um, I feel like it's something everybody went through. Whether okay. it's like. You're like on the like the side chick spectrum or the main chick spectrum. Like mm -hmm. you've definitely been in a situation where you're dealing with somebody and somebody else dealt with them too. Mm -hmm. Whether you knew it or not, and I'm pretty sure a lot <laughs> of people have them situations where a girl is coming to them as a woman. Mm -hmm. Woman to woman. Woman to woman, like, yo, I'm I'm dealing with this man. <laughs> and it might be like, all right, well, I don't want to deal with him no more, or it might be like, I'm dealing with this man and I'm not gonna stop dealing with this man. Mm -hmm. Like that happens a lot. Yeah. Like, so um I feel like it's one of them things that People are scared to talk about um, in like, their music. In their music, mm -hmm. but like straightforward. Like it's always like people are in the comments like she's not being poetic about it or she's so vulgar. You're she's blunt so with it. This. But that's yeah, but, but you're telling it how it is. Exactly. I don't want to sit here and and try to like. You know, make a, a, a do all twenty five metaphors and beat around the bush, and everybody's like, "What is she talking about?" No, this is this is exactly what this I'm is what's about. happening. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, shout out to Fresh and Blush because. Um, they really, they, they did that and they painted that picture so perfectly. And I just love the song. It's so dope to me. I definitely mm. got like a lot of backlash, but a, <laughs> I got a lot of love though. I was, you do have a lot of love. A lot of love record. on that song. I mm -hmm. was definitely like prepared for backlash. I was like, mm. I already know what's going to happen. I already know the upward's going to cause. I could see everybody like, oh, mm -hmm. why are you doing this? Why are you saying that? Da, da, da. But it was so mm. much love. I was like, wow, y'all bitches are messy. And I'm so here for it. So yeah, no, this is you. And I think at one point you labeled your music soft hard body. Am I saying this right? Yeah, soft hard body mm -hmm. um, because I could be very soft or very hard or I could be both in one it's like I could mm -hmm. be very soft or hard about it but I've just came to the conclusion that I make chaotic R&B music <laughs> like, I make chaotic R&B chaotic. So that's like now my new thing is like what, what type of music you make I make chaotic R&B I'm very chaotic I'm very wild even if I'm being very nice about something it's chaotic you're you yeah you're raw like that's what we want though I can I mean when it comes to artists Everybody has their own way of telling their story yeah. or putting something out there. And I think that if you're not yourself, we're gonna the fans are gonna pick up on it fast. Yes. You know, so stay true to yourself. Exactly. I don't wanna a, a be thousand nobody percent. but me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you know as you go higher and as you level up more, there's always that one person that, you know, I think that everybody should have to go home to and be like, Hey babe, guess what happened today? Yeah. Who is that person in your life? 
Um, well, I don't have a man right now. Okay. So, um, my friends are my babes. Ah, uh, you yes. were with them yesterday, right? Or I saw you post them on your Instagram story. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. I posted them today. It was an old picture. Um, oh. I was with them when I was home. I just okay. left, um, I left them. Um, I talk to my friends a lot, my mom, okay. um, and my manager a lot, like, because uh, you yeah. all, we're always working together, we're always together, so, like, that's really, like, my clique, like, I just tell them everything, like, y'all, guess what happened today, or, like, <laughs> like, guess who hit me up, or, or guess what someone, someone said, or, like, the blog mm -hmm. comments, I'm like, yo, look at these blog <laughs> comments, like, what are they talking about? Right. Like, definitely, <laughs> but I don't, like, have, like, a significant other that I, like, go home to, and I'm like, yo, babe, like, hey, babe, guess what This will happen, no, you know, like, or you need some advice and he can yeah, talk to you. And it's, it's my friends, my mm -hmm. mom, my, my management, because um, they're like my family. So shout out to them. Aww, so, yeah. That is so genuine. And it's nothing wrong with that. No. So all, for all the fellas out there, what is Honey Baby looking for in a man? Because that's where we can start. You know, like, they can start shooting a shot now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you um, want? <laughs> I'm currently not looking for a man. Okay. But if I were to have a man, I'd definitely want somebody that's very romantic, very thoughtful, very, very funny, because I like to laugh. Um, and my love language is definitely, I be getting called materialistic. <laughs> really? So yeah. receiving gifts? I love receiving. It's nothing wrong with that. I love receiving. <laughs> I love receiving. I love receiving. I love receiving. Like, I need somebody to just come Gifts, gifts, me. gifts. Gifts, gifts, First gifts, date gifts. has to be a shopping date. Like, get, get, I, don't give, <laughs> I don't care if you come, come give me a plushie. It's just like, yes, I love this Just plushie. something that says something, yes. something to give. I, I love like receiving. I learned that about myself mm -hmm. as I got older. And I used to be like, I'm not like that, but I am. I mm -hmm. love gifts. I love being spoiled. Um... And then, yeah, I just like somebody that like, wants to spend time with me. I love to spend time. I like Quality to be time. up under. Yeah, I'm like, I'm very like clingy. clingy. <laughs> yeah. I love to spend time. I mm -hmm. love to be up under. Like, I love to like be held. And I just want to sit. You're so sit. feminine. You're such yeah, a princess. Like, I yeah, love it. I want to sit. I want to watch movies. I want to rub feet together and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I want it down, for I sure. I love that for you. So that man is coming, but in due time, definitely, you know, focus on your career. We're going to take you from that. Yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely waiting. Uh, I don't got time for a man right now. Not right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, ma'am. Mm -mm. All, right. All right. So it is Women's Appreciation Month. Who are some women that you just absolutely have to give flowers to? Who are women out here just really killing it, like... Just women that you inspire, that you're inspired by. So I think a lot of um, the women that are getting their flowers are definitely like the greats and the OGs okay. and the women before us. But I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of the like the girls that are going crazy right now that are gonna be the the like the, the, the next new, the new generation. Uh -huh. Um, definitely like Kaylani, is going like absolutely crazy. Um, Cardi, Nicki, like definitely the rap girls because I am an R and B girl, but you know. I do uh, love the rap the girls. Yes. I feel like Lotto definitely needs her flowers. She goes crazy on Aww. and off stage. Um, Summer Walker, she definitely hasn't been getting a lot of credit for what she does. And she is, her voice is. It's absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. Amy Winehouse, rest in peace to her. But I feel like a lot of people haven't been bringing her up or in a lot of that conversations. Homage or, yeah, or, or paying that homage to her mm -hmm. because like her catalog is absolutely insane. insane. Yeah. Like she's mm -hmm. off the wall. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of um, other artists too that I, I just listen to so many people um, and I can't even like begin to think, but I definitely think the new generation of, of women definitely needs to have their flowers. The girls that really work though. Absolutely. Like and when I say flowers, I mean the music's crazy, the performances are mm -hmm. crazy, like they're building, nothing can stop them. Mm -hmm. Like these are going to be the new generation of women that the girls, like girls like my sister are going to look up to. Yeah, like, oh that's God. important. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I love them. I, I, I listened to them when I was younger. And da -da -da. Like, yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, now before we go, of course, we have to talk about what you're working on now. So what are you pushing? What are you promoting? What do what does the world need to know about? So I am dropping a deluxe this month, a deluxe okay. EP. Okay. Um, It's going to have three songs on it that nobody has heard. I'm performing one of them, like, during tour just to see what it's given, and it's it's getting crazy feedback, so okay. I'm super excited to drop new music. I haven't dropped since June, so um, that'll be like a year and a couple months yeah. Oh, yeah. that I haven't dropped any music, if Hopefully, you think right. about it. Wow, and it doesn't feel like that because you're just, you know, c consistently moving. moving. Time is just flying, you know? Yes, so. like next month will be a year since I dropped Touching. Oh, wow. A year? A Wait, year. actually, yo, I think the first time I saw you was at Blitz, and you performed it for the first time. Thank and you so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so, that was a year yeah. ago almost? Almost? April. Oh, no, April. Yeah, wow. I dropped the April, okay. and I dropped 
dropped my EP in June, so I'm really excited. Okay. This year, I'm definitely going to push out a lot more music. Okay. But I want to start off the year with my deluxe, and I'm just so excited for people to really um, grasp my sound because I love my first EP, but, mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't describe my sound as the songs on that EP. That okay. was kind of just like an introduction. To who you are. To who I am and, mm -hmm. and what I can do. And we get to grow with you. Yeah. I so love that. I'm, I'm love so that. excited for people to really um, hear my new music and definitely look out for the deluxe because it's going to be a crazy ride. Yeah. So excited. I'm excited for you. Thank let's, you. let's keep it going. Yes. Now, your legacy, what do you want to be most known for? Um, by the time it's all said and done. Um, I want to be known as kind-hearted. That's like the first thing I want people, like when I die mm -hmm. and they be giving me my um, my tribute, I'm, I want them to say, first off, she was the sweetest thing I ever met. <laughs> like I like they talk about a lot of people, they like they, they were so sweet and they were so amazing. And mm -hmm. I want to be known as one of them, but I want to be known like as an icon, like, and I, we watched her grow and we watched mm -hmm. her grow folkly and musically and her stage presence and her mm -hmm. performance and there's nobody like her. Like, I want to be one of them. Like, when I die, I want to be one of them people that nobody ever forgets, ever. Like, my legacy goes on and on and on and on and on. And then when the younger girls, when they come up and, and they become legends, because that's what I'm working on. I want to mm -hmm. be one of them. I want them to be like, yeah, and, and honey, baby, I want to be a part of every conversation. It's going to happen. Claim it, yeah. manifest it, and you shall receive it. So tell everybody really quickly how they can follow you, keep up with your music, if they want to know anything about what Honey Baby is doing. Definitely <laughs> at It's Honey Baby, BXBY on all platforms. Make sure you watch out for my deluxe EP coming. Make sure you stream my single fucking him too. <laughs> yeah, okay. And touching, and touching the remixes and yeah, everything. I got so much stuff coming. I'm so excited. Yes, and you can follow me on all social media at Myasia Simone. That's M-I-Asia and Simone with a Y. It's Myasia Simone and Honey Baby. It's Hot 1079.